the exciting hour, All-Star Wrestling. I'm Joe Blanchard. I'll be calling all the action for you, and we should have a tremendous action-packed card. Bill Rathke tangling with David Von Erich, one of the great Von Erich brother wrestlers, and, of course, son of Fritz Von Erich. Coloso Colosetti, Henry Garcia, Rocky Johnson against rugged, rough, tough Leo Seitz. We're going to have Dale Valentine tangling with Hector Guzman, <coughs> and via the magic of videotape from North Carolina, you're going to get an introduction to the great, one of the great Mexican wrestling stars in the country when Merced Solis, he'll be wrestling and they'll be calling him Richard Blood. His real name is Merced Solis from Mission, Texas. We'll be tangling with Charlie Fulton. So it's going to be a great action-packed card. You stay tuned. Here is the new Southwest television champion, Tully Blanchard. Uh, the new, I don't really like the new Southwest champion. I should have been the Southwest champion all the time. People saw right here on this show what happened. Valentine pushed Madrill on top of me when I was knocked out, and, Va and Madrill was knocked out. We were both knocked unconscious, and the man ended up on top of me. The referee didn't say anything. Madrill pranced around, paraded around with my belt. But that's all right. I didn't get on television and cry to the people, cry to the state, cry to the NWA, anybody. I just went back in that ring, and I got tougher, and I got meaner and I got more desperate because I wanted this belt back. It meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to me to show the people what kind of champion I was. And I've got the belt back. People booed me. They say, you did this, you did that. Colosetti helped you. Colosetti didn't help me. Madrill was inside the squared circle. I was inside the squared circle. And I won. But you know, Madrill, he went in there and won that junior heavyweight title. That was good. He shouldn't have lost that weight because it's tougher when you get in with a heavyweight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to go with the first big match here on television. David Von Erichs in the ring, his opponent, big rugged Bill Rathke, Bronco Lubitsch, your third man, and there's the bell, and we're underway with another action-packed card of all-star professional wrestling. David Von Erich, a recent bridegroom, by the way. Some of you... Young girls have lost a chance at David Von Erich because he's a married man. There's a top wrist lock by David. Big, tall, former All-State basketball player. Has a brother who's the best high school discus thrower in history coming along. And, of course, his brother Kevin, you saw him wrestle last week. He's great. As David ducks underneath and comes up with a hammer lock. Next week, we're going to have a videotape on Ricky Romero. We're hoping to get him in here before too long. That's next week right here on television. The great Ricky Romero and, of course, Harley Race will be here. World's champion Harley Race. There's a headlock by Big Bill. As Bill Rathke puts the pressure on David Von Erich, David wheels him into the ropes. Rashke, Rathke smashes him down. And a drop kick by David Von Erich reaches Rathke, catches him off balance, takes him to the mat. Well, I tell you, that David Von Erich can stretch out almost across the ring and reach you with those feet. He's. There's an arm bar by David Von Erich. as Rathke breaks it up. And a kickoff of beauty by David Von Erich. Hey, it's turning into a fine wrestling match between two fine wrestlers. And a leg trip as, oh, and David Von Erich drops on that leg. David has wrestled the world's champion Harley Race to a 60 minute draw. So we know what caliber of wrestler he is when you tangle with the world's champion and stay 60 minutes with a, one of the greatest competitors in the history of wrestling. Figure four is that leg and hangs on to it.
David Von Erich steps over that toehold. Remember next week, Ricky Romero. Hey, you're going to like this Merced Solis, Richard Budd. When you see him, as Bill Rathke comes up on top, reverses that step over toehold on David Von Erich. Merced is a former football star at West Texas State University and with the Vancouver British Columbia Lions. And as David Von Erich reverses that step over toehold and comes up and bombs away as he drops on the leg of Bill Rathke. And you can see a class in uh, David's wrestling because he attacks a part of a man's body tries to wear him down and weaken him. Bill Rathke uses that hair to pull David Von Erich off of that leg hold. As Bill Rathke explodes in, into David Von Erich, David fighting back as Bill Rathke has him on the ropes and ripping shots into David Von Erich, who comes off bombing away with a big long right hand shot of his own, comes up with that foot. As David crashes Rathke into the corner, wheels him back across the ring, and comes up with that sleeper hold on Bill Rathke. Off those ropes, David Von Erich with a sleeper on Bill Rathke, and he better get out of it quicker. He won't get out of that sleeper hold, because when David Von Erich wraps it up, that's about the end of it and he's got him right in the middle of the ring. The weakness of the sleeper is getting it on the edge of the ring where they have a chance at those ropes, and Bill Rathke, one final last gasp, and I don't think he's gonna get up from that one. And he says no, and Bronco Lubitsch says he's asleep, and David Von Erich is declared the winner in this first match with a sleeper hold. David did a fine job as the people come in and Bronco Lubitsch goes to the task of waking, getting some blood circulating in Bill Rathke. Hey, we've got a lot more action coming up and we'll be back with it right after this. Here we are, back at ringside, ready to go with another big match here on All-Star Wrestling. And there's the bell, and we're underway as Coloso Colosetti meets Henry Garcia. Coloso goes right to work, taking Henry Garcia down to the mat. Whips him again. Boy, he peels him over there. Whoa. Former light heavyweight champion of the world, Coloso Colosetti. Wheels him around and flying mares the man. As Henry Garcia. And Henry Garcia with an arm whip of his own. Watch out. Again, Henry off of that full Nelson. A little arm drag there by Colosetti as he goes behind with a body lock. <laughs> he made more moves than a 
belly dancer that time. I didn't. It's Henry Garcia bleeding out of his mouth. Some way he's broken a lip as a headlock. Oh, and he up in the air high and wheels Colosetti down with a flying mare. As Henry Garcia with a nice move. There's a headlock now. As Colosetti bangs that fist in there, shakes Henry up. Henry, former football star in San Antonio Jefferson High School. Up with a foot and a elbow behind the neck, a rabbit punch, and Colosetti bombs into Henry Garcia. And Henry runs into an elbow held stiffly there by Coloso Colosetti, the world's former world's light heavyweight champion, as he bombs him again. As Coloso Colosetti blasts away into Henry Garcia. And Henry Garcia up quickly, bombs away. He's bleeding badly out of the mouth, diving in for that corner as Coloso Colosetti gets out of the way. Scoops him, doesn't get him very high, but still turns him over. And Coloso Colosetti with an Argentina hangman hold, and he comes up in short order with a quick win over Comes up with a quick win over Henry Garcia as he just got ready to do a number and did it on Henry Garcia, Coloso Colosetti, the winner in this second match here on All-Star Wrestling against Henry Garcia. Hey, we got a lot more coming up. We'll be back right after this. Here we are back at ringside and ready to go with another big match here on All-Star Wrestling, Dale Valentine against Hector Guzman, and there's the bell. We're underway with action on All-Star Wrestling. Dale Valentine, brother of Johnny Valentine, former Texas champion. As Dale with a headlock takes Hector right over to the mat. As Hector with a head scissors works out of it. Good move by Hector Guzman as Dale Valentine drops with that knee on Hector Guzman. A shoulder butt and a flying mare and a front face lock by Dale Valentine. Hey, remember next week, Ricky Romero by the magic of videotape. World's champion Harley Race will be here on television. A gung-ho card from start to finish. Next week, right here on television's most exciting hour, as Dale Valentine slaps that right hand in, bends him back, and drives a shot home. Hector up quickly, but Dale swallows him like a big cat chasing a mouse. He's and a knee lift, Dex Hector Guzman. Front face lock as he takes Hector back to the mat. And 
He keeps pounding on Hector Guzman, and Hector drops with that knee. Hector's got to get untracked. Because he's got a reverse chin lock on him. And boy, he's got the pressure on us. Dale Valentine puts the pressure on Hector Guzman. Hector, a tough competitor in there, has a ways to go as being a top flight professional wrestler, but certainly he's a tough competitor. We've seen him battle some of the best and do a heck of a job in there. But he's got to get untracked in this match if he's going to do any good. Boy, and Dale Valentine has ripped into him. As it's bombs away with Dale Valentine. Completely dominating so far as Hector Guzman. And a drop kick, Dex Hector Guzman. And a backbreaker by Dale Valentine as he scoops Hector up. Scoops again. And another backbreaker. High in the air, dropping with that elbow as Dale Valentine. And John says, give him another one. And a grin, a sadistic grin on the face of John Valentine who's sitting. As he puts the figure four leg scissors on him. And, and Dale Valentine, Hector Guzman says. Is John Valentine saying more, more, more. And again, Dale falls back on there. This is not wrestling. He's as Dale Valentine is declared the winner as he <laughs> see if we can get a word with Dale Valentine his brother John As Hector Guzman goes limping out of the arena, Dale, what is this? All of a sudden, they aren't cheering you. They're booing you. I don't understand it, Joe. I'm wrestling the same as I wrestled when I came in here four months ago. It's the people that's changed. I haven't changed one bit. I'm still the wrestler that I have been in the past. Here's Rapido Rodriguez, who does the television in Spanish, coming over. And I just asked Dale about the fact that the people were booing him now, particularly after he wrestled Madrill. Let me say this. I've instructed Dale to be more aggressive, more aggressive, and that was, that was the only, he's not a dirty wrestler, he's aggressive. And that's the only way you're gonna win and get to the top in wrestling is being aggressive and being mean to some people. But I, I was mean myself, but I was never dirty. I just rough on my opponent. You cannot have sympathy because that is no game they're playing out there at its serious business. The better man win wins, and you've got to impress upon all the wrestlers that you are someone to fear. You've got to put fear in the hearts of all the wrestlers before you get in the ring. Well, I think you put the fear in the heart of uh, Hector Guzman. Excuse, excuse me for breaking in here. This ain't my interview, and I ain't supposed to be here. I ain't got no problem, man, except... You're standing in front of the camera. And excuse me. Here. I don't know why you changed, Dale. What do you mean change? I'm the same man. No, you changed it, no man. Yes, you are. I want to win my matches. Dale, I remember from before, you used to believe in going out there and going by the rules and winning. Now you're out there. I don't believe you're happy in winning your matches. I really think, believe that you're trying to hurt somebody. My intention is not to hurt somebody. My intention is to beat all my opponents, period. Simple. My brother told me 
to be rough, but I don't pull hair, I don't gouge eyes. I'm a professional wrestler. Well, you can't you tell this. me no difference. Let me ask Johnson. you. Let me ask you this, Mr. Valentine. Then why didn't you break the hold after you beat the man? You had the hold on the man. The man give up. Why didn't you break the hold? Let me let me say this. If the man isn't tough enough to get in the ring, he shouldn't step in the ring with me. He you got in it? The ring with you. you had the man beat. I'll say that much for you. You're a great athlete. You're a great wrestler. I have a lot of respect for you. I know. But not for what you did out there because you had the man beat. Now, any time you'd like to put that hold on me, you're more than welcome. Well, the same so you thing can take possibly. it as a challenge. You can take it as a challenge or whatever you think is worth. But you understand, Joe? I understand. Because I understand. I don't believe in a man going out there deliberately trying to hurt somebody and that's what you're trying to do. My address is right here in the ring. I ain't interested in your address, brother. My address is right here. I just want a piece of you. Come over here, Al. You got it. I think, I think right. this is a great opportunity right now because I, I want Dale to have all the best wrestlers in the world. I believe that Rocky is one of the best wrestlers anywhere and I would love to see Dale wrestle him because if he can get a win over Rocky, which I'm confident he's he might just do that then uh, this is what we want well, we've got to we've got to get some tough men and you are tough thank you I appreciate the compliments Johnny and I'd like to wrestle your, your brother here because I like I said I have a lot of respect for the man I think he's a fantastic athlete but I just don't agree with his tactics what he's been using lately and like you said if he's lucky enough to get a win which I'm going to be in there trying to win it too I kind of like you know after the match to shake your hand and say you're a better man than me but I just don't feel that uh, you can put that figure four on me you know Mr. Johnson your mouth just might have gotten you you know you should mind your down. business in the first place like I said my address is right here in the ring if you've got any feelings against me well, you're I welcome anytime that address, brother. Hey, well, write it down and in your book COD, write it down I'll in your book Let's talk to Madrill, mate. Congratulations on the win, and that ought to be something. When Al, you know I've never seen Valentine like that. Alberto Madrill, you've got a chance to go down in the history of professional wrestling as the only man ever to hold two world championships, official world championships, at one time. That's right, John. What an honor. What, what the, the Hall of Fame, I mean, the whole thing. Uh, well, that's the whole thing, Joe. You know, I feel really confident because I do have one world belt, and I'm sure uh, now that I've got that confidence, it seems like I want to lick the world, and that's the way I plan. And Harley Race is coming this way, and I'd like to uh, issue a challenge to that man. And uh, I upset Nelson Roy for his title, and I'm pretty sure if I, fate is behind me, I can upset Harley Race. The same way. Well, well, I, know. I think the same thing, Dale. Uh, I think the same thing, Al, because I had a lot of confidence in you, and I was one who worked up with you for about a month before you wrestled right. uh, Nelson Royal and won the World's Junior Championship. And I feel that you can go in there and defeat Harley Race and be the heavyweight champ of the world, and you're going to be like Joe said, you're going to be the only man in history, brother, to hold two titles. And you got it there. Right, man, and I'm saying I know it. that you Thank got you the ability, much. the agility, the weight, the height, the use, the speed, and the stamina, and everything it takes. Thank you, Rocky. Right on. Ojalá y esto se convierta en realidad. Es, no sería man. grandioso que un mexicano conserve dos títulos mundiales. ¿Qué te parecería? Bueno, mira, mano, ganando el cinturón del campeón mundial junior, tengo el confianza a también a ganar esta Harley Race. That's right. Campeonato completo contra Harley es, Race. Man. Bueno, ya te deseo suerte, Rocky Johnson. Ojalá y que tú pongas lo que falta de tu parte para que la gente que viene a verte en vivo gocen del espectáculo que tú presentas right, cada man. semana. Muchas gracias, gracias por la oportunidad de presentarlo. Thank you. Good luck, Alberto Madrill, Rocky Johnson, a great pair of professional wrestlers. We got a lot more action coming up. We'll be back right after this brief timeout. Here we are back at ringside and we're ready to go with another big match on All-Star Wrestling. Leo Seitz against Rocky Johnson. Bronco Lubitsch, your third man in the ring. And fast, agile, nimble Rocky Johnson against powerhouse slugger Leo Seitz. Leo 
both sides. Got a little shock when he pounded into the head of Rocky Johnson. There's a bear hug by Leo Sykes. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Rocky Johnson enjoys his wrestling in the ring. A powerhouse, 250 pounds from Los Angeles, California. Leo Sykes from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Into the ropes, across the ring from us. Nice arm drag by Rocky Johnson. Takes Leo down to the mat. These are all one fall 15 minute time limit matches in our noon and a kickoff by Leo Seitz and a nice one. He puts that foot right up to the chin of Rocky Johnson and boots him off of there. Top wrist lock. <laughs> Remember next week, Harley Race, Ricky Romero, via the magic of videotape, world's champion Harley Race, plus other great stars right here on television. There's a hammer lock. As Leo Seitz, they don't know how rugged this guy is. A lot of ridicule here from some of the fans. Hey, remember, coming up next, we're going to have Merced Solis against Charlie Fulton by the magic of videotape. And that ought to, and there's an arm whip by Rocky Johnson. Leo's a powerful man, a powerful built man. These men square off and study each other. There's a headlock by Leo Seitz. As Rocky whips him off and Leo with a bruising tackle. And a hip lock. And a flying mare by Rocky Johnson, and he comes up with a reverse chin lock. Well, there's a little hair pulling, and neither one of them got the advantage out of that as both men pull that hair. Five minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Five minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. A hammerlock by Leo Seitz as Rocky fights his way up to his feet. Rocky's trying to get him in position, comes up with that leg. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> a monkey flip and he catches himself on his feet. What an athlete, 250 pounds flying through the air like that. Leo 
still complaining to referee Bronco Lubich about the fist. like left jabs and a shot. Rocky, who used to be a professional boxer. Leo complaining to referee Bronco Lubitsch again. Leg trip by Rocky Johnson. Holds on to that leg lock as Leo with a kickoff and a kip up by Rocky Johnson. And you look up and he's staring at you right in the face. Leo with a nice arm dragging comes up with a double figure four arm bar. Again, Leo Seitz with that arm puts Rocky back to the mat, and Leo Seitz is a man to be respected and feared in that ring by any of them, so by Rocky Johnson or Alberto Madrill or Tully Blanchard or any of them. Leo's a rugged competitor. Try to punt, but Rocky out of the way and an arm drag by Rocky Johnson. Nice move by Rocky Johnson. Great wrestling. Rocky Johnson with an arm bar on Leo Seitz. As they're crisscrossing across the ring and Leo And another arm drag by Rocky Johnson. I'll tell you, this guy's cute. Ten minutes gone, five minutes to go. Ten minutes gone, five minutes to go. Yeah. 
Rocky holds on to that arm. Leo Seitz against Rocky Johnson. Rocky certainly a star in every, as Leo crams into Rocky. Rabbit punches him and he crashes one in and another and that Leo's a powerhouse. As Leo again slams into Rocky Johnson. Rugged Leo sights, a man to be feared, and Rocky fighting back. And Leo fighting back. Boy, he can stand some punishment as Leo sights blasts into Rocky Johnson. That's how it's done, Rocky Johnson says. But he's shaken up. And a flying bear. And a backslide. And a three count by Rocky Johnson as he comes up with a big win over Leo Seitz. And a hard fought match it was, a backslide. And Rocky Johnson, a seldom used hold. Hey, we're gonna have a talk, we're gonna have a match with uh, Merced Solis, Richard Blood. He'll be called on this videotape against Charlie Fulton from North Carolina via the magic of videotape. This is from Raleigh, North Carolina. I think you'll enjoy seeing the great Merced Solis from Mission, Texas. What a job this guy does. Then we'll be back with a talk with David and Kevin Von Erich right after this. Wide World Wrestling underway. Tom Miller along with George Scott in the ring right now. Richard Blood going up against Charlie Fulton. Richard Blood out of Mission, Texas and uh, he evokes just about as much response in these coliseums and arenas from the young ladies as does uh, Ricky Steamboat. I'm here to tell you he's a handsome young man and all the young ladies are, are very interested in this young man, Richard Blood, but he's in against a rugged opponent right now and Charlie Fulton who body slams him. That's very true, Tom, and I'm gonna move out of here and you got another Texas boy, a good old Southern boy over here, Dick Murdoch, so I'm gonna let him sit here with you uh -huh. and help just, you commentate. And, uh, just tell him not to kick the announcer's table. <laughs> Dick Murdoch, the sensational Dick Murdoch is now joining us Mike side and we're glad to have him with us. Richard Blood working that arm bar on Charlie Fulton right now. Welcome in Dick Murdoch. Nice to have you with us again. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. Boy, and I'll tell you what, you got two sensational athletes out there in the ring right now. I tell you, I just left uh, instructions with George Scott for you to, to be sure not get so worked up that you kick the, the wrestlers uh, announcers table about three feet like you did uh, in one of our other matches on Wide World Wrestling. Look at that action up in the ring right now. Richard Blood working on uh, Charlie Fulton. Dick Murdoch loves to wrestle so much that uh, he even wrestles at the announcer's table. Well, I'll tell you Anytime, what. Anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Hey, I was born in this profession. It's in my blood. And by golly, I get excited just like somebody used to play football sitting at home watching. I get excited watching these matches and just like everybody else that's sitting out there at home does. You know, that Richard Blood's turning into be a sensational athlete. You know, he's a great football player making a name for himself in professional wrestling. Someday he's going to be a main eventer everywhere in the world. He, so is his Charlie Fulton. He also is a, look at that uh, flying drop kick by Richard Blood. Beautiful arm drag. Works it back into the arm bar again. Uh, Richard Blood is a, a native of Texas. Where is Mission, Texas? I understand that's his home. Well, Mission, Texas is down past San Antonio, down in the valley where all the vegetables come from and all the fruit. And I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful place down in there. Richard Blood in against Charlie Fulton out of Detroit, Michigan, and this Charlie Fulton is a man to be reckoned with. He's a scrapper, a fighter from the word go. I'll tell you what, Richard Blood was a great football player at West Texas State University. You might say that I tutored the man there, and I'll tell you what, he's turning into be one heck of an athlete here. Well, he couldn't have a finer teacher uh, than in the form of one Mr. Dick Murdoch and I. <laughs> I mean that sincerely. Well, thank you. I just, I'll tell you what, I just hope I help the professional wrestling if he did in football. He's got his hands full right now. He's in a little bit of trouble, you know, but I'll tell you what. You're going to have to wrap him up. You're going to have to tie those legs up to cover him for a one, two, three. Fulton going for a big slam. Hey, you talk about getting a wind knocked out of you. That will definitely sure do it. Full force of your body coming down on your back like that, it, it, it momentarily takes the breath completely out of you, as Dick Murdoch says. Well, you know, you hear a lot of people say that don't hurt. Everybody knows how to fall and everything else. Well, I'll tell you what. You learn, it, I'll tell you what, when you're picked up six foot high in the air and you get slammed down, I don't care what you know, 
it dang sure vibrates everything in your body. And today's professional wrestlers all go at 200 pounds or better. A 200 pound man is a small man in professional wrestling today. Yeah, 200 pounders are not even hardly around anymore. You know, you look at any sport, hey, they're 260, 270, and they're getting bigger every year and better athletes. What you were saying about Richard Blood is coming through right now. If you don't count this man out, you might get him down, but uh, as Dick Murdoch says, you're going to have a heck of a time keeping him on that canvas. Flip going to that reverse chin lock, which is a very good hold there to keep the man down and tire him out. You're going to tire yourself out fighting, trying to get rid of it, and Fulton's got the weight on you. He's got the advantage right now in being behind his opponent. And as of right now, I'd say that Charlie Fulton is carrying this match pretty well to Richard Blood. How important is it to be the aggressor from the opening bell? I noticed in uh, you commentating the other week on Wide World Wrestling, uh, you were talking about uh, uh, a young wrestler that uh, that looked really good, but you said he's just not carrying the, the match to the other man the way he should be. Well, in 99% uh, of the time, oh, there was a big knee to the stomach. Richard trying to get too carried away there. At 99% of the time, you need to be the aggressor, but a lot of times you're in there against somebody that's got the more experience. Well, you need to, you know, kind of wait around, not really wait, but take things easy kind of bide your time and wait till you right because you're in there against that experience you're finally going to make a mistake and slip up and he's going to capitalize on you and beat you but you know if you got the experience on somebody you got the size you figure you got the ability plus the uh endurance we well, go ahead and be the aggressor and take the battle to him because you're finally going to wear out and beat him richard blood is valiantly fighting back he uh, has had the max taken to him from the very onset but look at this a flying drop kick Right flush across the chin of Charlie Fulton. Beautiful drop kick. Richard going for that big slam. Oh, and a big elbow there. I'll tell you what, it come right across the chin. I believe that could be it. There's a one, two. Nope. You got to wrap them up these days. The competition is getting keener all the time in professional wrestling. Uh, some maneuvers and some holes that, that used to work years ago simply do not uh, put a man away anymore. You've got to look at that. Beautiful reversal by Richard Blood. He's stepping in for his hold. I believe he's going to try to get his hold on Charlie Fulton. He's working on that leg. There he goes. He steps in, hooks that leg, and does a beautiful bridge back. Look at that. One, two, three. And that's it. That's it. He's got it hooked so deep he can't even get out of it. Look at her. Sure at the referee signing. We have three great wrestling stars out here. First, I'd like to welcome back to Texas, his home state, Cowboy Bob Ellis, one of the all-time great wrestlers. Thank you, Joe. It's showing up. Good to be back. Uh, there's a lot of uh, unsettled business I've had here since I've been. A couple of these tough studs been around here bellering like a couple old yearling bulls, some of Brooks and uh, Von Krupp and Valentine, and I come back just to get a little bit of it. Well, I'll tell you, there are plenty of great wrestlers, and I know that that old scarred head of yours has been through a lot of lumps. And, you bet, uh, Joe. I'll tell you, anytime this old dog's here, I'm sure going to hunt. And it's, uh, like I said, it's good to be back, and I appreciate the warm reception. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Cowboy Bob Ellis. Here are the Texas Tag Team Champions, two great young wrestling stars. We had a great veteran, Kevin and David Von Erich. Welcome here to All-Star Wrestling. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Let me ask you guys, I've often wondered, since you're brothers, is there ever any jealousy when you're in the ring? Uh, no, Joe, we go out there for one thing and one thing only, that's to win, and we do it as a team, and everything everything we accomplish while we're together is as a team. Does Daddy ever advise you and uh, so forth? I know he's coached you well, or you wouldn't be as far along as you are at this age. He always we, he always has a comment to make after our match, especially all you know after he sees him, he always has a comment to make, and when we wrestle on television, he always watches the matches, and then we call him after that and talk it out. Kevin? I know that Fritz must have taught you that claw hold because you use it almost maybe as well. I don't know. Do you use it as well? Well, uh, I'd like to think that I do. Uh, I've worked on this hold for about seven years now, uh, consistently for about seven years. And uh, I use it whenever I can, but I don't have the kind of strength in my hand that my dad does to be, to be realistic with you. And it takes so much out of me. I can only do it like maybe a, one or two times a match. But I'm, I'm working at it real hard, and I'll be... I'll be doing it just like him for long. And who taught you the sleeper? Uh, Duke Kiyomuka. I'm sure you remember him. I remember Duke Kiyomuka, one of the all-time great wrestlers. Well, he's a great wrestler, and it took me a long time to learn it, but I'm glad I finally did. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. David and Kevin Von Erich, 
We've had another great card of all-star wrestling, and we'll be back next week with a lot more excitement, a lot of great wrestlers, world's champion Harley Race, Ricky Romero, others. So you be with us. And until then, this is Joe Blanchard saying adios. <laughs>